Yo, what's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be talking about the new update for Vampire Survivors, which is a really, a really big update. A really, a really, really big update. It lasts a lot of new content to the game that I know you're interested in, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So right off the back, that game adds four new achievements, which means there's four new additional content for the game for you guys to enjoy. And the first one we're gonna be talking about is the brand new power-up inside of Vampire Survivors. So now, if you go to the power-ups on your screen, you will now notice a new power-up that is called Curse, and Curse increases the enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency by 10% uh, per rank with a maximum of 50%. Basically, what this does is makes the game harder. That's Pretty much all curse does it makes enemies uh, come at you faster they're they're they have more health and the quantity and frequency of enemies is a lot larger however this also means that if you can survive and you can you know muster up a good setup then you could kill these enemies faster and then you will get more experience because there's more enemies and you can build your, your 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 build a lot faster than usual if you weren't to have curse in the first place now let's talk about the brand new passive along with a brand new character there's two new characters 1.5 to be exact but we'll get about that later first let's check out the new character that is called llama now llama is going to be the character that has the starting weapon of the axe and this person gains plus five percent might move him speed and curse every 10 levels so basically they get faster they get stronger and the enemies will also scale along with llama now if you survive 30 minutes with llama then you will unlock the new passive and what this new passive does is right here you will unlock the skull of maniac which is basically curse but in passive of form so if you fully upgrade your power up you know and you get this pass will fully upgrade and then you use llama that's like a good a hundred and something percentage of making the enemies just harder you know what i mean so for those of you who want a harder gameplay i feel like that is definitely the way to go especially because the axe is pretty much one of the worst starting weapons in the game in, in my opinion now the 0.5 character that was mentioned earlier is of course as you know yada now two weeks ago a lot of people were talking about how to unlock yada this new character unlock yada this however yada wasn't a full flesh character the skin was there but the stats weren't there the weapon wasn't there the uh the the passive ability for you know the character wasn't there but now we actually do have the full fledged character that is called yada now now, the passive ability for Yada is it'll get more projectiles every 20 levels with a maximum of three. And that's pretty much the exact same thing that Mordecai does or Mordecai, I like calling it Mordecai, but Mordo, Mordecio or something like that does. So they pretty much have the exact same passive. However, the big difference, of course, is the starting weapon. Mordecai has bones and Yada has the, I forgot what it's called, but it's a, it's a, it's called the cherry bomb. Now the cherry bomb and the bones are pretty much, they, they're really, really similar in the fact that they they kind of ish act the exact same way um if you were to imagine bones but would have explosive that's pretty much what cherry bomb is when when my boy yada throws out a cherry bomb it'll bounce off of enemies and then once it stops it'll send out a big explosion which does aoe damage now it doesn't last as long as bones it's not as fast as bones but it, it, it makes up with the explosive damage that it, it pretty much does now if you want to actually unlock yada you'll have to defeat 3,000 lion heads and i'm gonna be honest i don't know what a lion head is but after one complete 30 minute run with any character with any weapons or anything like that i actually unlocked this so just do a just do one run and you'll completely defeat whatever 3000 lion head heads are and then you'll actually unlock uh yada now if you're interested in how much damage the cherry bomb actually does i did a run earlier i didn't complete the run but i got to around 20 minutes or so and i actually did have rune tracer as well inside of this run and rune tracer plus the cherry bomb did pretty much the exact same damage um which makes me believe that cherry bomb is on par with rune tracer and everybody knows that rune tracer is on par with an evolved weapon so cherry bomb is actually a pretty good solid weapon um and the fact that it does aoe damage on top of that is not bad and it pushes the enemy back so it does have a little bit of a knockback for that utility which is really really nice and that's pretty much the main content for this update some additional content that was added for this update is that the hollow heart and pumorla if you guys don't know the black heart and the red heart which is max health and recovery both of those effects got doubled so your person's pretty much a lot more tankier um the default axe now passes through one more enemy so axe got a nice little buff um and the empty tune is bug is now fixed so empty tune got a little bit of buff uh not really a buff but 
it got fixed because it was broken but other than that that was pretty much all for the new update of vampire survivors which is a pretty big update honestly it adds curse some 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 weapons you know some characters you know what i mean that's that's not that's nothing to cough at you feel me um but yeah appreciate you guys watching if you want some more content let me know by subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next video have a great morning evening and afternoon my good friends and i'll see you guys later peace